Okay, last but not least, um, we have the JPSS Sparks training program. Uh, this is 2018 plans and student intern opportunities. Um, this will be presented by Dr. Morty DeVocla. Morty has over 20 years working with NOAA on the development of hyperspectral sounding retrieval algorithms and validations. His primary responsibilities are to coordinate algorithm development efforts at STAR for the JPSS instrument suite and lead the STAR algorithm integration team as the task order project program manager. Morty is also the training coordinator at IMSG for the JPSS Sparks program and a collaborative project between the City University of New York. Welcome, Morty. Uh, thank you, Christy, for this nice introduction. Uh, this is a, actually an informative talk for students and what can be available in the 2018 uh, the JPSS Sparks training program, student internships, and we actually worked with uh, uh, Shakila Merchant, who is the NOAA Crest Center coordinator for this one. And one of the main objectives of this one is to provide some kind of an industry experience to the students. I mean, students might be coming from different universities with different backgrounds. They may have a lot of academic experience, but when they really come to actual job, what kind of an industrial experience they might like to have. That is one of the uh, main objectives of this. <coughs> So just to give what is SPARKS, uh, JPSS SPARKS is the Student Professional and Academic Readiness with Knowledge in Satellite Program for the JPSS mission. So the history was uh, during the 96th AMS meeting, uh, Mitch Goldberg, Shakila Merchant, and Riza, they combined together and then they talked about this. And then one of the main objectives is, okay, familiarize graduate students with NOVA and the JPSS program. JPSS science products, algorithm development, CalVal, JPSS tools, software and architecture. Uh, as like many contracting companies working for STAR, we also have a lot of, we also provide a lot of support for the algorithm development efforts at the CalVal and algorithm development efforts at the STAR. We also provide research to operation kind of support for the uh, STAR, so that way we thought we will coordinate with Shakila Merchant and provide whatever best we could do for the students who are almost like graduating and trying to look for jobs and what kind of experience, what kind of industrial experience and what do they feel when they really come to the uh, industry. That, is, that was the main motive. So <clears throat> IM System Groups partnered with Nova Kuni to provide J JPSS specific training for students. And one of the things is the, the training and workshop design. This is actually a very important one that we did in the sense, first of all, whoever students have come to us, we first of all interviewed them so that we want to set up a baseline for the coursework. So for example, okay, one of the questions could be, have you ever used class? If, if no one has used class, then we try to put, okay, class should be one of the things. Similarly, have you used any, what kind of Fortran po programming languages did you learn? And if the, most of them says, okay, I know very well about Fortran 90 or something, then okay, we'll try to raise the bar a little more so that the training course would be more interesting to everyone. And if, if everyone is coming, and similarly, some of, the, some of the students are mainly from engineering background, they may not be knowing some of the scientific aspects of the atmospheric science and other things, then we would like to provide some kind of a small briefing for them, okay, what the actual brightness temperature mean or something, that kind of a thing also. So in designing this one, we had first of all interviews with the students and then set up a baseline. And the baseline will change based on what the students know and what they want to know. Similarly, the baseline, at the time of baseline, we will also use to ask them, okay, what is your interest? What do you want to do? 
and depending on his interest and okay, we'll try to choose what particular instrument would be useful, what kind of product they want to work on, and then accordingly fix a mentor. And STAR has all the expertise there with different instruments as well as algorithm development, as well as everyone was volunteered to do mentorship for the students. So what we did is a 10-week training, training program for the students. First five weeks, they try to orient themselves and then learn some kind of programming skills and other things while they communicate with the mentors. And the second five weeks, they concentrate on a project with the mentors from the star so that they make a poster. And of course, most of the, all the students presented a poster after the, at the annual, annual science team meeting. So that is how we designed. Uh, for this, what we actually got is four students at that time. Those are actually, those four students came from IMSG JPSS training participants. But at STAR, there are so many other students who came as interns from different programs like uh, graduate research training uh, fellows as well as graduate research uh, interns. They all came to STAR at that time and this happened in summer. So the mentor said, well, since you are arranging anyway this kind of a training so that they know exactly how the algorithm looks, what kind of uh, data formats they have to use. So let them sit in your training program. So we allowed everyone to, to be part of the training. That way, although we have in, initially four students that ended up almost like 10 students, and uh, we were able to give them the training they need. And first five weeks, a uh, morning workshop led primarily by IMSG staff that not only involves research to operation concepts, programming languages and some kind of an exercise starting with whatever base level they have, start from there and then give them some kind of an advanced mm -hmm. training in programming and what kind of data format the JPS, JPSS data provides, industry government liaison requirements, verification, and what are the enterprise systems and configuration control. So basically it's focused on how science and programming interacting in R2 environment how changes are integrated through the review process, opportunity to be part of real working environment, improve overall computer programming skills, and show students how to write a code to standards. Because at the beginning of the, this one, if they know how to write into standards, that will actually help them over the time so that they can easily debug their programs and write standard codes <coughs> for their thing. So this is what happened in the morning session during the first five weeks. In the afternoon session, seminars led primarily by NOVA JPSS star scientists. There are so many people from the JPSS program as well as JPSS star scientists who have provided JPSS overview. What are the suite of instruments, geophysical retrievals, products, CalVal process, user applications, intensive ICVS, intensive calibration validation system, long-term monitoring, NWP and data simulations. So this has exposed students to JPSS mission products and pioneering research from the state-of-the-art instruments. And this also helped scientists, JPSS star scientists and program office volunteered to give overviews of the JPSS instruments. Following the training program, students applied their skills in mentorships with NOVA and some of the IMSG students. Most of the mentors are from the government, government scientists, and IMSG was able to support them whatever kind of support they need. And after the first week, first five weeks, we evaluated the metrics. So metrics were given during week one and week five. Week one served as the baseline to adjust planned lectures, and week five tested knowledge immediately after the workshop ended. Students already showed knowledge of Linux and Python programming at that time. We were able to build from the basic understanding to language-specific skills. So initially, when we checked at week one, the students were in the programming lang program knowledge of the JPSS mission, they know only 10%. But by week five, they are able to come to 100%. Coding in Fortran, 
ten percent and they have become seventy five percent something something like configuration management and algorithm change process they were not able to get anything but they they improved pretty well that gives us okay we have to work more uh, when we do the training program once again so mentor feedback each student was assigned a NOVA and IMSG mentor prior to entering the program during the IMSG training students gradually shifted to work under their mentors and mentors reported primarily positive feedback in fellow follow-up surveys and they, all the students after five weeks of working with the mentors they presented their posters at the annual science team meeting and improvements for future what we are thinking is we want to do it students and mentors both requested the following additions to the program for future there have been map they have been mapped to the core competences from the City University of New York, data visualization, basics of radiative transfer and atmospheric models, Python scripting, modeling applications, presentation skills, also we want to add them this year. So these core competencies will be chosen and structured to best match the skills produced by the students with the availability of faculty providing these materials. So how do they get involved? graduate students interested in benefiting from this. We want to expand this a little more, not only for the City University of New York, but whoever student wants to come, they can actually contact Shakila Merchant. And any suggestions for me as, of course, this training program has given a lot of inputs to us, especially all these uh, um, class as well as other networks, etc., where to get the data as well as snow mapping, all that interesting talk, as well as Mike's uh, ash, those things, all those things have helped quite a lot. And we'll try to put together, and Mike Wilson, he's our technical team lead for this, and he's also here. And if anyone wants to talk, we'll be able to uh, connect with all of you. And professors can provide course guidance for students interested in careers at NOVA. So I think with this, I'm right. done. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, <laughs> OK, thank you very much. OK, we come to the end. Um, it's been a great course. Okay, before I get to the final announcements, I just want to give a, a short recap. Um, Mitch introduced to us the JPSS program and a satellite overview of all the instruments. Uh, Dan Nafeld uh, was from the National Weather Service, talked to us about the JPSS sport to the NOAA operational missions. Uh, Li Hang Zhao introduced us to the JPSS data and the products and the scientific maturity. I'm at the break. We introduced to you our new interactive uh, tool, Slido. We got a lot of good questions answered. Uh, Jorel Torres and Kathy Strabela told us about um, accessing the data and the tools that we can use. You can go to class. You can go to SIMS. There's GeoNetCast. Uh, Aaron uh, led us through a planning activity for the Iditarod sled dog race, which was lots of fun. At lunch, we did evaluations of JPSS data and products. Uh, Michael Bolin, Eric Stevens, Michael Fulmer. Um, and then after lunch, we had uh, Nadia Smith um, accessing severe weather using, using new caps and doing an assessment. And then she and Dan got together, joined a scientist and a forecaster to discuss the applications in new caps, which was also very interesting. Then we switched gears. And we went to uh, Dr. Pavlonis, and he talked to us about volcanoes and aviation hazards. And then finally, Jarrell came back to us and talked to us again about training and more to you about the SPARKS program. So overall, we've had a, a great short course, uh, starting with the basics, moving all the way into the details. So both the scientists and the engineers um, have learned a lot, and the students. Um, we have uh, some three goodie bags in the back. 
um, that are available for giveaway. If you have a birthday that's close to November 18th, uh, 2017, <laughs> first, who has a birthday that's closest to November 18th, 2017 when NOAA 20 launched? Raise your hand. It was a November birthday. Well, it's, if, you're, if you were born in November, okay, Nadia's got one. Okay, Nadia's got one. No, no, no. No, Eric was born in April. Okay, who's within a month of November Early December. Okay, so Nadia, more tea. We need one more. Who's within two months? Leave, leave it for Gozar. We'll show him how good JPSS is. What? Oh, so we got a lot more. Okay, so we have our three. Okay, your goodie bags are right in the back. There's also some pens and paper and um, some pads that you can pick up as well. Um, I think all of you ex already filled out the experience surveys um, and you've turned them into Liz. I want to thank Liz and Gary and our media person and Jeff and Bill, of course, and then Mitch. And uh, Mitch is going to have the last word as always. Last word. But wait a minute. Oh. There's more. Oh, not quite. <laughs> So uh, we want you to join us um, for more polar satellite experiences at AMS. We have the 18th Presidential Forum. That's tomorrow at 4 p.m. in the Baltimore, in the Ballroom D. We have the 14th Annual Symposium on New Generation Operational Environmental Satellite Systems, and that's Monday starting at 8.30. Um, and then we have Unlocking the Value of Satellite Observations for the Public Through Cloud-Based Access on Tuesday at 1215 in room 18CD. And finally, most importantly, we want you to join us at the free AMS Student Early Career Professional Speed Networks event. That's Monday, 8 to 10, in the Austin Conference Center, Ballroom A. Um, come spend an evening with the meteorological professionals and an introduce, be introduced to a, a wide array of professions. Um, there's a ticket to take with you for that, and there are refreshments. Awesome. Good. So everyone should have one, and we expect you to be there. A lot of us are going to be mentors there, and there's engineers and there's scientists. So I turn it over to Mitch for the final words. Again, thank you, everyone. The, everyone was just awesome. Thank you, Christy. You were awesome. And thank so thank you, Christy, for emceeing. Very good. I'm really proud that I have a great team because all I, I didn't contribute too much in this short course except for my presentation and making a decision for the videotape, which I think is going to be a, an excellent decision. We'll see next week. Uh, but uh, I think Bill asked me and Gary said, you want to do another short course? I said, sure. And that was it. <laughs> so I'm really proud of the organizing uh, committee. They did a great job putting together the talks. I thought they were really good, very informative. You know, the balance of the general information and the applications and I'd like to thank um, you know everyone uh, you know of course uh, everyone gave really good presentations you can see just the effort that was put in the presentation it wasn't just any ordinary presentation a lot of effort was made by everyone I can't even if I had to give a score for every individual um, presentation with except of myself of course um, I would give them a five because there was a lot of good details, so I appreciate that, and uh, it was very informative. And um, so, again, I, I thank everyone, uh, and especially to the team and the, and, the, and the instructors, as well as the participants. Uh, job well done. You certainly have a lot to be proud of, and I'm really proud of everyone here. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, there's one more thing. I want to make sure I get the uh, our sponsors. Oh. I, I have them all worked out now, so just hang on here. Um, okay, so we really want to thank our sponsors. Um, we've got uh, Global Science Technology, uh, Science Technology Corporation, which is STC. We have IMSG, which is IM, and I'd love to know what IM stands for. We can't find it anywhere. IM Systems Group. And then we have, finally, ERT, which is the Earth Resources Technology. So we thank our sponsors uh, for everything that you've done for us. And have a wonderful, safe oh, evening. And remember, show up Monday morning first thing because uh, we'll be talking about JPSS. Yeah. First thing in the morning, we'll have a special session for yep. JPSS. Great, thanks. All right, thank you.
may be excused. Thank you. Have a great meeting. Great job with the slide up. Yeah. Oh. I think we, we